give us an estimate? Yeah, we're averaging about two hundred thousand dollars a month. Two hundred thousand a month. Correct. How, how many employees are in this farm for the caretaking? Uh, there's approximately ten to twelve. So if you auction everything off and there's a profit there, how much goes back to the city of Dixon and how much goes the federal government for maintenance? Uh, any of our costs are going to come off the top. Uh, any, you know, at the end of the case, we will tabulate the income and the expenses, and all of our expenses will come off the top, and then any balance will be available um, to go back to um, you know, a victim of a crime. What, what's, what's this been like for you guys? I mean, you're used to handling house sales and other types of property. This has got to be unusual. It is. Um, you know, Marshall mentioned, and, and I certainly concur, that this has been unprecedented for us. Um, never before have we managed this uh, size of livestock in so many uh, outlying areas. Um, so it, it's been it's been a challenge, uh, often working around the clock um, to to manage the responsibility. But we're taking it very very seriously. Um, you know, the welfare of the horses are of utmost concern, and I think we've put processes in place um, to provide for them. You know, this property was not necessarily the concern; it was all the outlying areas. You know, when we when we uh, initiated this process, uh, we didn't know what we had. Uh, we spent seven weeks, as the marshal indicated. Uh, going through the inventory, trying to certify the inventory for the court. And we added horses, we subtracted horses based on learning that they did or did not uh, belong to the defendant. Um, you know, over the course of our care, we've had um, quite a few foal that have been born, adding to the size of the herd. So if you look at the original complaint that was filed in this case, I believe it reflected 311 horses. Um, today the complaint reads 401. So we've had an, an uptick in the number of horses, and that's, you know, I frankly don't view um, the, the, the losses that we've experienced, the few losses that we've experienced is, is, is very newsworthy in that what's really important to recognize here, I think, is that while, yes, we have lost uh, paid horses, we've brought upwards of 82 um, into the world. So, um, you know, it's, it's it, it, you know, the, the size and the, the gravity of the locations all around the country um, trying to figure out and strategize on how best to manage this herd has been a challenge, but um, you know, I think we've effectively managed it.